Today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to create a website. Now this is important because if you're in business or if you want to start a business, you need a website. A website gives you an online presence. Once you have a website, you can easily be reached. Your business can easily be found, potentially earning you more clients and making more money. So ChatGPT can help you actually create a website, can help you come with the contents of the website. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually use ChatGPT to help you design your website. Now, as you can see here, what I did with ChatGPT, I told you that you are a professional website developer. So this line itself over here is not only going to gaslight ChatGPT, but it's also going to let it know that it's a professional website developer. Okay, so it's going to put itself, it's going to gather all information for professional websites from the internet to come up with the best websites. All right, and then the second line was help me create an interior design website. So the second line here is now where you can place the different type of website that you want to create. So I wanted to create an interior design website, which was interior design. This is where I place it. So you can place whatever it is that you want to place over here, whatever website it is that you want to create over here. And then I go on and say, how many pages should I have and what content should I have for each page? Okay, so this was the result. Creating an interior design website is a great idea for a content creator like you. Here's a suggestion for the structure and content of your website. All right, so we have the first page, okay? It is the homepage. And then ChatGPT goes on to give us content for our homepage. And then the second page is our about page. It also has content for our about page. Third page is a portfolio page, okay? And then fourth page is a service page. Fifth page is a blog. All right, sixth page is the testimonials. Seventh page is a contact page. Eighth page is the FAQ. Okay, so frequently asked questions, but this one is optional. Ninth page is the resources. Now, this is also optional. And then number 10, we have now affiliate marketing section. So here is if you want to promote affiliate products. Okay, you can actually do that. And then 11, we have newsletter archive. Now, this is also if you have a newsletter. All right. So if we go into detail for each section, if we go over to the first one here, the first one, which is a homepage. As you can see, we have the introduction, which is a brief welcome message introducing yourself and your passion for interior design. So you're going to create a small brief welcome message, which is basically just introducing yourself. And you're also going to show your passion for interior design. And then we have stunning imagery. So here we're going to place imagery showcasing high quality, you know, images of your best interior design projects. Now, if you're new, if you are, if you are new in interior design, you might not be having any uh, portfolio or any projects rather, or any images. So what you can do, you can just even just download them online, or you can even use Mid Journey or Leonardo AI to create for you designs, all right? And then next we have call to action. So this is not going to encourage visitors to explore your portfolio or contact you for inquiries. And then next we have newsletter sign up, and here's where you can include an option for visitors to subscribe to updates and newsletters. And this is what I normally talk about, okay? This is now like a landing page where you can have them enter their email, their name and email where you can actually have now uh, an email list for your audience, for your visitors, and then now you can target them different offers or basically just your product, all right? Now, the homepage is one of the most important pages of your website. This is one of the first pages that gets, this is the page that gets the most traffic from your website because by default, it's going to have your domain name and most people are going to be searching with your domain name, which will uh, basically going to direct them to the homepage. So you have to make your homepage as detailed as possible. Okay, you're going to have your introduction, a brief welcoming message to introduce yourself, uh, stunning imagery now showcasing your high quality images of what you've done, of your previous work. All right, a call to action now encouraging visitors to explore your portfolio or contact you for inquiries. Here's now where you can actually link your homepage to different sections of your page, okay? Different sections of your website. And then last but not least, you have the newsletter. Here's where you can create a landing page using GetResponse or any landing page builder or email marketing software to send them emails, all right? Now for the about page, you're going to have your story and under your story, you're going to share your journey and experiences as an interior design. So this is now going to be all about you. If you're an individual, if you're a single person, you can actually just share your journey and experience as an interior design. Next, you have your credentials. So your credentials are going to highlight your qualifications, certifications, and any relevant awards. Uh, team is if you have a team, introduce them with your roles and background, okay? 
and under portfolio you have sh uh, showcase your work with the gallery of your best interior design projects here you're going to include high quality images project descriptions and challenges you faced okay now this is just similar to what you're going to have here on your home page you know stunning imagery showcasing high quality images of your best projects and then we have services under services you can list the interior design services that you offer such as residential commercial or staging okay now this is just all mainly for an interior design website okay the different types of websites that you can create say for example you want to create a website for weight loss products okay maybe you want to help people lose weight or even build muscle okay so all you're going to change here is interior design okay you're going to impress you're going to replace interior design website with something like weight loss okay or weight gain whatever it is that you want to create so you can come over here you can just copy this okay you can just copy that prompt and then just paste it here and then now you change this or you delete it and you say a weight loss website click on enter all right so what we have here is just a similar thing creating a weight loss website is a valuable project here's a suggested structure and content for your weight loss website okay so again we have home page about page weight loss programs blog success stories nutrition and diet exercise and fitness weight loss tips testimonials contact pages rather contact page resource and tools which is optional community and support which is optional and then again they have affiliate market section related to your uh, interest again so here is where you can now promote affiliate products weight loss products and then last but not least you have faqs all right so if you start with the about page rather the home page you have introduction welcome visitors and provide a brief overview of what your website offers next you have value proposition clearly state how your website can help users with their weight loss journey all right again call to action which is going to encourage users to explore further or sign up for your services is now basically where you now sell your product and then again testimonials is going to showcase success stories and testimonials from people who have benefited from your guidance okay now some testimonials you can actually get them from our website builders like especially ai website builders they normally come with testimonials so you don't have to worry about this one for the call to action here is where you're going to place your landing page okay this is very important here is where you're going to collect their email addresses their names where you can now target them similar weight loss products or the same product just reminding them of the benefits and how they can use the product right next you have the about page so your story here you're going to share your own weight loss journey or the inspiration behind starting the website you have credentials so highlight your qualifications certifications or relevant experiences in the health and fitness field here's basically we are going to again show your qualifications if you have any you don't have to do this but this just adds more credibility to your website now you can actually go ahead and fake this but i do not recommend you fake just be honest with your qualifications and certifications next you have mission and values you can explain your commitment to helping others achieve their weight loss goals okay next you have weight loss programs so here under weight loss programs you have the detailed weight loss programs or services you offer such as personalized diet plans workout routines or coaching okay so here is where now you're going to show them your weight loss programs the services that you offer such as personalized diet plans workout routines or coaching very very helpful and then you have uh, include information on what each program entails its duration and pricing if applicable and then next you have blogs so here's where you're going to regularly publish articles or topics related to weight loss nutrition exercises and motivation now blog sections are important in case i didn't mention blog sections are very important on your website this is actually going to help your website get indexed easily because blog session is going to have more content is where you're going to actually write more content regularly by regularly publishing articles on topics related to weight loss nutrition exercises and motivation so basically the more content you publish out there on your website the more it's going to get traction the more it's going to be picked by the algorithm the more other bloggers are going to you know find it and they're going to link to your blog and this is how you can actually get organic indexing okay making your website rank higher on google so blog is very very important you can also share tips success stories and healthy recipes there's so much that you can write about blogs okay 
Uh, next you have success stories again here is where you can now showcase before and after photos of people who have actually lost weight using your products or programs or advice okay now the products that you can actually use for these uh, products from affiliate affiliate networks like clickbank uh, monish uh, digital 24 different affiliate networks okay these are the kind of products that you can actually promote over here all right next you have nutrition and diet to provide information on healthy eating meal planning and portion control so here basically just providing information on how to eat healthy plan your meals well and portion control and then you can share sample of meal plans and recipes there's so much that you can actually do with nutrition and diet next we have exercise and fitness so offer workout routines now this is going to be more involving because if you want to show them how to work out with videos you're going to have to actually do the videos yourself showing your fit body of course you're going to have a fit body and you're going to show them the workout routines but again you don't have to do this uh, you can also include guidance for different fitness levels and goals next you have weight loss tips so this one is creating a section and practical weight loss tips and strategies okay now this is not really necessary because they're just tips but again it's just adding more pages to your blog making uh, to your website making it bigger Next, you have testimonials. Again, here you can get testimonials. Uh, you can easily get testimonials from website builders. They tend to come with testimonials. And then you have your contact pages, resources, community, you know, affiliate marketing section. Again, here is where you can now place your affiliate products. You can place more information about your products, linking them to your affiliate links. Maybe you want to do, you want to create a website for gardening. Okay, you can just come back up over here. Again, you're just going to replace this section over here with gardening. Okay, you can just copy all this again, come down here and paste it. So create a gardening website. So again, we have our gardening website, homepage, about page, um, gardening tips and guides, plant directory, gardening design ideas, gardening tools and equipment, community and forums, events and workshops, contact pages, affiliate marketing section newsletter sign up and faqs okay again we start from the beginning on our home page an introduction to welcome visitors and provide a brief overview of what your website offers to gardening enthusiasts all right featured content which is highlighting recent articles gardening tips or featured plants call to action encouraging visitors to explore further or subscribe to your newsletter and beautiful imagery so here you're going to use high quality images of gardening or plants to create an inviting atmosphere okay so these sections are just kind of similar if you look at them and the about page you have your gardening story here you can share your personal connection to gardening and your journey as a gardener you have credentials so you can mention any relevant qualifications or experiences in the field of gardening you have missions and values explain your commitment to promoting gardening as a hobby or lifestyle gardening tips and guides you can create a section where you regularly publish um, articles on gardening tips techniques seasonal guides you can create topics and include soil preparation plant care pest control and more so everything about gardening is over here guys okay if you're interested in gardening this is going to help you create a gardening website because you have all topics here you have uh, pages that you can actually create for your gardening website and this also applies to any other niche as you can see we've created also websites for weight loss we've created a website for interior design and you can create a website for so much more now you can use different website builders there are different website builders that you can use to create you can use ai if you want ai you can create uh, your website manually if you want for ai you can go to websites like pineapple so pineapple builder i'll link it down in the description this is an ai website builder it can build your website in seconds so say for example the um gardening website okay you can just type over here a gardening website and click on ai all right so here it's going to uh give you different options before it proceeds building your website so you have a uh, gpt 3.5 and you have gpt 4 okay so if you have the paid gpt4 of course is paid so if you're already using gpt4 which means you're paying for it you can go ahead and use this otherwise you can just leave it at gpt3 so i'm just going to click on this i'm going to select at gpt3.5 and then down here you have more details for your website okay so it's given you what it's going to contain on your website is the name of your website now you can go ahead and also change this if you want from here 
So it goes on to say, is your one-stop destination for all your gardening needs to tools and accessories. We have everything you need to create and maintain a beautiful garden. All right, so it goes on and on. Again, you can completely change all this if you want. Then down here, you have your target audience. So your target audience is garden enthusiasts, homeowners, and anyone looking to enhance their outdoor space. All right. Now you can go ahead and also change this if you want, but there's no need to change your audience. I think it's got it right because these are the people who you are targeting, uh, garden enthusiasts, homeowners, and anyone looking to enhance the outdoor space. Once you're done, you can just click on start generation. And here now, as you can see, you have a section which can allow you to pick your design. Here, basically just going to select your, you know, palette style. You can change your palette styles. They have different palette styles over here. If you select them, you can see different sections of your website changing. You have vivid. Okay, so it basically just changes the text and some sections as well. Okay, you can just go ahead and play around with this. I'm going to let you guys play around with them. Here you have your textiles as well. You can also change your different textiles. You have your button styles and all that. All right, now, so here on your right hand side is now how your website is going to look like. Okay, if you're satisfied, you can just go ahead and click on save. And this is how your website now looks like. All right, so you have your text at the name of your website over here. This section here can completely be changed. Every section here that you see can completely be changed. Okay, you can completely edit it the way you want. You can change your text, you can change your images. All this is very, very easy. To do okay down here you have your testimonials this is what i was telling you that you can actually use these testimonials of course you can change the images if you want here you have your you know the stars the ratings that they have given you you can also edit this you can edit everything that you see over here okay down here you have your footer so again you can completely change your website now on your left hand side over here you can see you have website pages all right here is where you can have your website you can change your websites you can add pages so you have your blog section, you have your home. So you have your about page here, which is now going to take you to the about page. Okay, here's where you can place your about page. Again, you can go back to ChatGPT, see what you need to place on your about page. Okay, we had our about page here, which is a section. So here you can place your gardening story, share your personal connection to gardening and your journey as a gardener. You can add your credentials and your missions and values okay next you have your features you can place features here you have your pricing so if there's any physical product that you're selling or services that you're offering you can place them on the pricing page now if you want to add more pages just click on this plus over here you can actually add a blog section so blog is what i told you which is very important for your website which is going to uh, allow you to add more articles to your website okay you can add a template for a page just click on this a template page this is going to give you different types of templates that you can use for your website you have the features section you have the about section pricing portfolio product okay so very very easy to create your website using ai you have different ad pages you can delete pages by just selecting this okay if you want to delete maybe the blog you can select and delete that you can rename okay so this is how you can actually create a website using ai with the help of chat gpt coming up with the design of your website, the content of your website, and what you should have for your website. And if you want to learn more on how to build your website using AI, check out this video where I show you different AI website builders that you can use to design and create a website.